Hey, what's up everyone? Big Black Love here. <clears throat> well, I haven't had a video in a while, but I've been working on finishing up the Valari and been spaced out on making vids and all that, but the interior is like 95% done, so I just gotta do a few things, hook up the shifters, speedometer cable, a few things suspension, and get my new wheels mounted, balanced, and an alignment, and it should be done after everything. So, that's good, and yeah, I'm finally going to be getting my money here soon, so won't be broke no more, and got my medical, looking for doctors, and that's fun, not, I might have medical, can't find a doctor who's taking it right now, anyways, so yeah, I bought myself some kits, because we all know I like to collect more than I like to build, <laughs> But, um, yeah, I got some awesome deals on some kits I've really been wanting. Because, like, 90% of what I have, um, I don't really want to build until I have my airbrush set up everything and all my paint. And, you know, I got all my excuses why I don't want to build them. But, so, I bought some that um, I want to build either uh, A for parts, um, for some of the ones that I do have that I want to build but I didn't have the parts for them. Or uh, to pretty much build stock or slightly modified that, you know, I can just throw some regular spray can spray. I got a bunch of colors of the lacquers. So, you know, I'll put out a couple builds here in the next month or two now that it's starting to get cold and I can't do stuff outside anymore because of my back and all my muscular issues. So, yeah, anyways, um, to show you some kits I got, I was going to wait until I have them all, but, um, I was doing a bunch of cleaning, making room for them all, um, so uh, I figured I'd put them away so I could do some more cleaning with space on me, and so I figured I might as well make a video and show you guys the kits I got instead of them just stacking up here on the floor. So yeah, anyways, um, I guess first one I really start with doesn't I don't have a box for it or nothing. It's the 7-Eleven Mustang uh, IMS series. Uh, it's very similar to the Ford Mustang Motocraft one I have. Body's a little different, and after looking at the kits, because you know, um, I just had a picture of the bag and the name of it, and I was like, oh okay, it'll be like the one I have. So I'll have instructions and an idea how to, and it's completely different. It's got a different interior, different suspension, different motor, everything about it. But it is actually, I think, anyways, it is actually a little bit better of a kit than the other one. Like, this might have been a newer version, like a re-release, and they fixed it and changed it a little bit. Because I didn't look through the instructions on the other one, but if I remember correctly, I think this was like a 89, 88 or 89 IMS, it said on the thing. And of course, the whole bottom of the body kit's gone. Well, I'm not gone, I have it in the kit, but the way the body is on this, you know, it's all in pieces. So this is the top half of the body, and the bottom half of the body is technically part of the uh, ground effects and the frame and all that so so yeah I got that in this box that I got from Jim in Ohio so anyone that was wondering where the IMS kit went you know I got it actually I got another box coming and then another one so I decided he popped out more stuff just like he did last time I bought stuff I left room and he put more cool stuff up so I had to buy it and then I've actually been wanting these I don't know Pretty sure you guys remember to say I always keep my eye out for 124th and 125th scale odd like bikes, motorcycles, and crazy stuff for parts. So, but um, Jim and Ohio had these. One of them, the body's glued together, but um, I got the Taco Trike, which is pretty cool actually. This one I might build the way it is and just modify the body. I don't really like the bodies on these. I really don't like this one because um, 
you know, when you just look at it, I know it's show and all that stuff, but, you know, I like my stuff to look like it could actually be driven or, you know, a replica of something driven. And if you're in that seat, laid back, your head's going to be up against the back of this window. Even if your head's right there at the very thing, um, you'll be looking through there, and then, you know, you're going to have, like, what? If anything, you'll be looking through, like, a little slot like that. So, yeah, I'm going to change it. But, uh, Jim in Ohio, now definitely goes through, I don't know, see, focus, is this kit has been inspected and resealed, this model is guaranteed complete, and, um, that's kind of cool, I don't, I'm sure other people had issues too if I was, but there was a few times where it had problems with, uh, kits missing a part or something. Of course, you let him know and he takes care of it. No problem. So, I, I kind of like to think that I might have had something to do with that because I had like three or four kits because I bought so many kits from him that had problems. So, I'm sure there was at least a little tiny bit that I had something to do with the guaranteed stickers. Um, let me set those up. So, yeah, I got some other stuff coming that's got motorcycles in the kit and I bought them almost because of the motorcycles. So, yeah. And, um, this one, I don't know, I kind of have to build it, and, or I guess get out of other parts and see, but it, it's supposed to be 125th scale, and the thing looks huge. It's more like maybe, I don't, in my opinion, I don't know, I think for the size it should be, it's probably like more like 120th, it'd look proper size, maybe if I stuck it next to Jessica's Gremlin, but uh, it's the Icicle. And it looked badass and everything. And I was like, dude, that'd be sick for a little park diorama and have little ice cream trucks set up, you know. So, <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, the, yeah. uh, just the front. I mean, this is supposed to be a bicycle, you know. The handlebars, you're supposed to be able to, you know, ride the thing. This is the front cart. I mean, the thing is wider than a pickup truck bed. Now, I've never seen an ice cream cart like this. They might have, like, zoo ice cream carts or something like that. This might be designed after that. Not meant to be on sidewalks. But from scale, this thing wouldn't even fit on the sidewalk. Or, you know what I mean? So, that was kind of a bummer. But, I mean, like, the bicycle wheels on it. I mean... Look at these tires. They look like they're from a uh, the motorcycle kit, almost. You know, those are huge. So, I mean, that would be like a 28, 30-inch tire, maybe. Uh, easily a 28, you know. So, I mean, it, it could be bicycle, but the width, n n not so much. I don't know. Anyways... So I got that. I was a little disappointed on how big it was. I was hoping it would be a lot, lot smaller. And I kind of paid a lot for it, too, really, for what it is. Because I was hoping, you know, I was like, wow, that thing's small and it's huge. I was like, oh. So anyways, and then, um, you guys might remember, I did have one. And I traded it to Darcy. And I kind of kicked myself, even though I got the bigger one afterwards. But I got myself another 21-foot tag-along. And I got that 36 or 38 uh, fifth wheel or tag along. And uh, I just wanted a, a smaller one, you know, because that's a really big trailer. You know, I'd be a big racer. You know, I'm going to use that for like a top fuel car or something. Because your average Joe Schmo like me could never, if we could afford that trailer, we wouldn't have a race car. So, <laughs> um,. So, I've got a little bit smaller trailer for my cars, and I've kind of been wanting this kit for a while. I've seen, I think Crazy Man had it, um, but I kind of wanted this, been wanting it for a while, and I got a good price on it, and it's the uh, Lincoln Pro Street, and it's, I just like it because it's an oddball, you know, who's really going to take a, a late 80s Lincoln two-door and Pro Street that bitch? I mean, that's just awkward. I mean, it looks kind of awkward, doesn't it? You know, it's got that big snorty snout, which I might make even bigger, and I don't like that stupid little wing thing over the back, but, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, it's supposed to be a rolling cruising car, plus the wheels look cool. So I picked that up. I actually got a pretty decent price on that. 
I think I paid like 25 bucks with it shipping shipped. I think right around there. And then I picked myself up a bunch of monster trucks. I got a couple more on the way. Um, and, and you know, once again, the oddballs. Um, Dras Tack. Um, I've actually been wanting this one for a while. And um, <coughs> this one came with that one. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And this one is going to be for parts, probably. Or I might build that one and just leave this one in plastic. Because this is a factory sealed perfect. And I actually got this one for just a little bit more than this one. And these two were shipped together and this one was separate. So anyways. So that's the kits I got right for right now. Um, just the three monster trucks and the trailer and you know, the bikes and stuff. I got like, uh, I think 10 more things it said on eBay that I'm waiting to ship, and a couple of them are doubles, and one of them's a triple. And Jim in Ohio, I'm waiting for a double and a triple. So I got like 12 more boxes of kits coming, probably about another 20 kits. So good thing I got lots of room in the closet. So yeah. I'll have a video up uh, more kits and or the Valari here soon, so hope I didn't bore you. Peace.